Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Arirang News, AI anchor, Ari. As South Korea enters the second week of a massive doctor's walkout over the government's medical school quota hike, new medical school graduates are said to join the strike by refusing to take internships. Seoul National University Hospital reports that 80 to 90 percent of interns due to start on March 1st haven't signed their contracts. At Busan National University Hospital in Busan, all 50 internship candidates slated to start Friday have resigned. Fellows are also contemplating joining the collective action by not renewing their contracts. Attending and fellow doctors from around 80 university hospitals nationwide issued a statement last week, voicing that practicing medicine has become untenable amid vilification by the public. As countries around the world adopt carbon-neutral policies, South Korea will be fostering a thousand green startups to help them expand to global markets. In an emergency economic meeting held on Monday, the government announced its plans to provide step-by-step -step support for green startups, including operating a green startup lab where companies can test-run their technologies and products. It also outlined 10 key areas for concentrated support, including secondary batteries and waste plastic. The government hopes to expand to global markets by providing tailored solutions to specific environmental issues countries face. The prices that people in South Korea pay for public services saw an on-year increase in January despite the government's stance of freezing them in the first half of the year. Statistics Korea on Monday said its basket of 30 public services, including utilities, healthcare and transport, increased by 2.2 percent compared to the year before. That's the biggest rise in 27 months. Rising fees for hospitals and public transport were the main factors behind the increase. A government official said it will work with local governments to try to keep the rates from rising in the first half of the year. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said Sunday that 31,000 Ukrainian troops have lost their lives in the two years of war with Russia. Saturday marked two years since Russia's invasion of Ukraine began, but the Ukrainian government had not released an official figure on the number of soldiers killed in action. But on Sunday, during a press conference, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said that 31,000 soldiers have been killed in the war. He slammed lies by Russian President Vladimir Putin and his government that said 150 to 300,000 Ukrainian soldiers had died. Both Ukraine and Russia have kept the scale of their military's troop losses confidential to prevent enemies from using the death toll for propaganda purposes. South Korean directors have taken top prizes at the 74th Berlin International Film Festival. Director Hong Sang-soo won the Silver Bear Grand Jury Prize for his film, A Traveler's Needs, which tells the story of a French woman who travels to Korea, where she teaches a local woman to speak French. Also in competition at the festival was the feature directorial debut of Kim hye -young. Her film It's OK, about an orphan young dancer won the Crystal Bear for Best Film an award given out by a jury of children in the Generation K Plus section that's dedicated to coming-of-age stories. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.